Uh, this is another mini review of uh, iPhone applications. Um, as I've stated previously on a couple of previous ones I've done on both Press Reader, which is this one here for reading um, newspapers on your iPad, and for uh, Xenio for reading magazines on your um, iPad. Um, I'm just doing a bit of a focus on some of the specific applications because it's really the apps that give this power, that really make this a compelling device that um, uh, that allows you to do so many different things on the one um, sort of uh, slim, portable, long-lasting um, device uh, such as the iPad. So I'm going to do a little bit of a run through of um, uh, X-Plane which is this one down here and I've always been a bit of a fan of flight simulators over the years. I can say that I'm no expert in flying them. Uh, it takes actually many years of real hardcore practice if you want to become good at a flight simulator because these are like you know real planes. A lot of the characteristics and the uh, um, aeronautics and all the configurations and the, uh, the, the settings in terms of wind and various other things that you can do, weather conditions is, is quite uh, realistic um, so they're, they're certainly more than just a, a sort of game, they are very you know, realistic in, in all senses of the word um, so I've, I've played on and off with simulators over the year, I've had a bit of fun and X-Plane was actually probably the, the, the real big um, simulator that's been out for the um, iPhone for, uh, you know, probably since the iPhone was launched, um, you know, they were sort of out early in the piece with a, uh, an excellent flight simulator for such a, a small compact product. They've now released one for the, um, for the iPad, and uh, I'll just start it up here. Now this by default is in the, um, uh, the uh, sort of landscape orientation, obviously, because it's um, probably better suited for... Um, uh, for the perspective of the um, of the the viewing window of the aircraft, um, but it's just a fun application to what uh, we sort of while away the um, uh, the hours, um, and it's 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 that much more interesting now that it's on a on a on a decent sized screen. Um, while while it's still great fun little portable game to play on the iPad, uh, you certainly have more real estate now with the full iPad version. So we go into settings here, and um, again, this is probably because it's an earlier release for the iPad. I'm sure they'll be adding a lot more features and functionality over time. But this gives you a bit of an idea. Um, you can set some of the parameters here. You can um, this allows you to adjust um, uh, some of the, the flight characteristics. You've got weather adjustments, uh, time of day. You just choose these different uh, little windows here. Uh, you've got the plane. Now there are, it's, uh, they're obviously using some of the um, uh, the sort of features here of the iPad now, the bigger screen a little bit better in terms of the uh, the way you can flick through the planes here, uh, a little bit like the iTunes, uh, the music library. Um, a number of these planes are sort of uh, coming soon, sort of flashing in the corner up here in text, but uh, uh, so obviously they're still developing adding, but I might just choose the um, uh, one of the larger aircraft here, I'll choose the 777 nice Boeing and as you can see you can also flick through the different uh, cities here and I'll uh, maybe just stick back at uh, New York there leave it where it was and um, we choose a map and we've obviously um, uh, can sort of choose uh, uh, where we want to take off from whether we want to have a random flight up here return to our flight or go on to a final approach I might actually just choose a final approach here and as you can see I'm gonna have to pick it up now because uh, I don't want to uh, crash into the ground and uh, we can just see our runway. We'll just bring this a little bit closer. And um, it's a bit tricky holding this uh, while doing this thing. We're trying to get a de decent view on the camera here, but I'll try to uh, give you a bit of a view here. We just see the runway to the left here, and I'll just drop the gear down. I'll actually put the brakes on there just in case, just to be preparing. I'm going to drop the accelerator down a little bit. And I'll drop the flaps down a tad. And we've uh, got the runway just sort of to the centre of the screen there. We can just see a bit of a red light ahead. And, um, whoops, actually, I'll just uh, get that bit in view a little bit better there. And um, getting sort of close now. So 
So you can certainly see the instrument cluster a lot easier now on the uh, iPad version because obviously you've got this extra real estate. It's uh, certainly a lot easier now to uh, to really make use of the um, uh, the instrument controls. Although I'm not really doing a huge amount of uh, sophisticated flying here, other than just attempting to very roughly land uh, this uh, Boeing seven triple seven onto the runway successfully. Um, but um, as you can see, it's um, quite a nice little uh, application and we just landed now and I'll uh, just uh, flick the flaps all the way down and the accelerator off and um, and if I tap the screen, so we've just about come to a stop now and the runway, if I tap I can actually see the uh, the plane here and I can sort of spin it around and uh, see where I've come from. I can see how much runway I've got left. I actually probably didn't do too badly there. It probably wasn't the most smooth landing, but I've at least got a decent amount of runway, and you can you can zoom quite far out actually, and uh, really get a big perspective view of where you've uh, where your plane is and where you've come from. And you can also see the controls up here for trim and a throttle. Uh, the gear and brake down the bottom here and on the, the other side over here I've got um, um, the speed brake and the, uh, the flaps. Uh, so anyway that's just a quick um, a quick uh, review of um, the um, uh, X-Plane for the iPad, uh, more of just a bit of a show and tell.